The last nominee for Best Musical is Nine, and one of the New York critics described it in this fashion. It is a marvelous musical, shimmering with theatrical and musical ideas, full of the tawdry joys of life, as hopeful as tomorrow, as decadent as today. It's the story of an Italian film director turning 40, and in this scene, he remembers a woman he met on the beach when he was nine years old. Give my cheek a pat 
Oh, this is a good audience. Send the whole cast home. I, uh, <laughs> I'm very proud to really to be here tonight, but back in 1943 is when I made my uh, biggest success here at this uh, wonderful theater. I was here in the Ziegfeld Follies of 1943 here at the Imperial, and I was happy then, and I'm happier now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure on this stage now to find myself reading the nominees for Outstanding Director of a Musical. And they are Michael Bennett for Dream Girls, Martin Charnin for The First, Tony Tanner for Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Coat, and Tommy Toon for Nine. And the winner is Dream Girl, big, big mouth, Dream Girl. And the winner is Nine. Tommy Toon. Well, this is just great. <laughs> and I'm very grateful, and if I started saying the names of everybody that I'm grateful for, we'd be here till Good Morning America starts. <laughs> you know who you are. You're every single human being who has contributed to making Nine such a wonderful experience. Uh, it, you, it started with um, an idea in Maury Essen's brain. Every one of you from that moment till now, and I hope for as long as we run, which I hope is nine years. I just have to say thank you, and I have to do a gesture to, because words aren't enough. Tony, you have to be still a minute. Here you are, every one of you. All right, I'm going home, bye. <laughs> joy three years ago of appearing on this very stage in a terrific musical entitled They're Playing Our Song. <laughs> and I, I wrote the music for that. Yeah, Marvin wrote, I the, wrote music. the music. For that show. And we'd like to take this, uh, <laughs> this opportunity to uh, read you our Tony Award acceptance speeches that we uh, didn't get a, a chance to, to read then because, uh, well, we didn't uh, win. Anything. No. But uh, we had some really good speeches and we knew that you'd all want to hear them, so uh, we're, we're just going to... Marvin's gonna... Oh, Marvin, maybe it's too late. Yeah, maybe you're right. Just do the nominations. Okay, the nominations for Outstanding Performance by a Featured Actress in a Musical are Karen Akers for Nine, Lori Beecham for Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Lillian Montevecchi for Nine, Anita Morris for Nine, and the winner is Liliane Montevecchi in nine. Bonsoir. And thank you very much. Ma but my mother is content. My mother is looking at me. I have to tell you, it was Mother's Day when you opened the show, but in France it's Mother's Day today. And this is the greatest pleasure you could give me. I thank you very much. Tommy Tune, thank you. More everybody, thank you. And thank you for accepting me. I'm so thrilled. I... Oh, bye. <laughs> Hello. 
This is a pretty theater, isn't it? <laughs> and it's full of the sounds of all this gorgeous music that's been going on from now on to 60 years. I know I had a ball when I worked here on this stage in a musical written by Harold Arlen and Yip Harburg called Jamaica. But now we have come to the present and there's nothing more immediate than awarding the Tony to the best musical of the season. Now, you have seen a bit of all of it, but just for reminders, let's do them again. Dream Girls. <laughs> Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dream Coat. Nine. Pump Boys and Dinettes. And now the winner. I hope they printed this big enough for me to read without my glasses. The winner is nine. Last week, I had lunch with J uh, Dame Judith Anderson, and I thought that was the most thrilling moment of my life. This evening, I received the Tony Award from Lena Horne, the second most thrilling moment of my life. Where do I begin? Uh, the first day of rehearsal, Tommy Toon, the fabulous Tommy Toon, gave me nine wishes. I would like to pass them on to all of you this evening. He gave me health, happiness, humility, love, passion, devotion, courage, perseverance, and serenity. I would like to pass them all on to you. Choose whichever ones you want. They will serve you well. They served me well. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank my co-producers, James Niedelander, Roger Berlin, Francine Lefrak, my partner, Harvey Claris, and a very dear friend, Sam Cohn, whom I would like to make an honorary producer of this show. And last but not least, I also want to thank my friend Kenny Greenblatt, who was really a great, great support and a co-producer on this show. One more person is God. Thank you very, very much, God, because without you, Nine the Musical would not have become Nine the Miracle. Thank you.